Yo, Kevin, what's 23 divided by 79? Uh, uh. No! Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> Yo, Chad, what's 23 divided by 79? 0.2911392424. Yo, what's 97 squared? 9,409. What day of the week is November 19th, 2025? Wednesday. <laughs> well, shit, today we're going to learn three ways to aura farm using math. We're going to learn how to convert fractions to decimals in your head, how to calculate squares in your head, and how to figure out the day of the week of any date in your head. Let's get started. All right, to start, let's try to figure out what's 15 divided by 28. And we'll just do this the normal way, and then we'll show you how to do it in your head. So to start, we can set up a long division problem like so, with the 15 divided by 28. And the, since 28 doesn't go into 15, we add our decimal point here, add a zero, and then start going from there. So t how many times does 28 go into 150? That would be five, and that gives you 140. So then you're left with 10, and then you add another zero, so you have 100. How many times does that 28 go into 100? Should be three, and that gives you 84. So you have 16, then you add a zero, and that should give you just about five again. So then that's 140, and then you go from there. So it's roughly around 5.35 as the solution for 15 divided by 28. Now what's our strategy for doing this in our head? So to start, we want to simplify the fraction as much as we can. And then the first thing we do is multiply the dividend by 10. So it's similar to what we did here by adding the zero right like that, is just take our dividend, which is 15, and just toss on a zero, so like 150. And then from there, we'll divide by the divisor. So in our case, we divide by 28, and that's our first decimal digit. So then we add that solution that we just divided into to the back of our decimal, and then with the remainder now becomes the new dividend. So we'll add on another zero to that, and then these steps two through five will repeat over and over again until we have the desired amount of digits that we care about. So now that might be a little complicated, so let's let's try it out on an example. Now to convert this to a decimal, we want to do that in our head, but I'm going to write out some of the steps so you guys can see what my thought process looks like. So we start with 65 divided by 40. We want to simplify that. That's our first step. So to simplify that, we start by taking out the 40 over 40, and that gives us 1 in front with 25 out of 40, and then that further simplifies to 1 and 5 eighths. So basically, once we get to step two, we're starting with this. So we already know the one part is fine, so we gotta figure out the five eighths. What is five eighths? So we know our final answer is gonna be one point whatever the five eighths turns out to be as a decimal. So how do we do five eighths? Well, step two, multiply the dividend by 10. So we have a 50, then we divide by eight. How many times does eight go into 50? Well, that's six with a remainder of two. So our next digit is a six, and then we take a remainder of two, and then from the two, we multiply by 10, go back to step two, divide by the divisor, divide by eight, that gives us two. So then our next digit is two, and we have a remainder of four. And finally, we take that four, multiply by 10, divide by our divisor, divide by eight, and that gives us five. And since 5 has no more remainder, we're done. So our final answer is 1.625. Now here are some practice problems for you. I won't write them out, but try your best to do them in your head. If you have to, write them out a little bit. Give your answer to the nearest second decimal, please. So for 13 divided by 16, you should get 0.81. For 7 divided by 12, you should get 0.58. And for 27 divided by 4, you should get 6.75. Now for our next topic, we're going to teach you how to quickly square numbers in your head. So our main strategy for this is to utilize that any squared number can be broken down into the difference between any other numbers. So for example, if we wanted to find 47 squared, that's the same as 50 minus 3 squared. And if we multiply out this binomial, 
that gives us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Oftentimes, these squares terms we can figure out a lot more easily than just trying to square 47 on its own. So it's a lot easier to figure out the square of 50 and the square of 3 than it is to figure out the square of 47. So let's take us through this one example. So we know 47 squared equals 50 minus 3 squared. And then if we use our equation above, that gives us 2,500, which is 50 squared, minus 2 times 50 times 3, which is the minus 2ab part. And then we add 9, which is the b squared part. So if we add that together, we get 2,500 minus, this is 300 right here, plus 9, that's 2,209. That's a lot easier to calculate in your head than just 47 squared. So here are some practice problems for you. Pause the video and see if you can figure these out. So for the first one, you want to treat it as 30 minus 1 squared, and that gives you a total of 841. For the second one, you want to treat it as 100 minus 2 squared, which is 9,604. And finally, the 43 squared, we can do 50 minus seven, but we could also do 40 plus three squared. That just makes the middle term an add two AB versus of subtract two AB. And that will give us 1,849. Our final technique that we'll learn is to calculate the day of the week for any date. And this is a technique called the doomsday algorithm. The doomsday algorithm utilizes what are called doomsdays. And doomsdays are a fact that these 12 specific days in any year all fall on the same day of the week. For a leap year, the date 1, 3, and 2, 28 are replaced by 1, 4, and 2, 29. But regardless, in any year, these 11 dates will all be the same. And an easy way to remember them are that all the even months starting from 4 are just the month and the day as the same date. So 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 10, 10, and 12, 12. And then another mnemonic to remember the other odd dates are I work 9 to 5 at the 7, 11. So that gives you 5, 9, 9, 5, 7, 11, and 11, 7. And then you just have the last day of February and the third or fourth day of January. But the main point here is that these 11 days are all fall on the same weekday during any year. Now the next issue is figuring out which weekday that is for any given year. So part of the algorithm is something called an anchor date. And the anchor date is just the day that all the doomsdays fall on. For the whole century of 2000 to 2099, the anchor date for the century is a Tuesday. So all our calculations will be built off the fact that a century anchor date is Tuesday. Now within each century, each year has its own specific anchor date. So each year might have a different day that all those doomsdays fall on. But we need to utilize the century anchor date to find the specific year anchor date. And the year anchor date can be found as follows. So let's say we want to figure out what's the anchor date for the year 2041. That's the same thing as asking all the dates 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 5, 9. They all fall on which day in 2041. And the way to calculate this is a simple algorithm. So the first thing you do is you take just the last two digits of the year. So in this case, it would be 41. Now the next thing you do is you divide by 12. So if you divide by 12, that gives us 3 with a remainder of 5. We take this 3, and that's our first thing we care about. So we take this first quotient, 3, and we add that here. Now the second thing we do is we take that 5 and we also add it here. Lastly, we take our remainder and we divide by 4. So we divide by 4 and that gives us 1 with a remainder of 1, but we don't really care about this remainder anymore. We just care about this 1. So what we did is we take the last two years of our specified year, divide by 12, take the quotient and take the remainder, then take the remainder and divide by 4, and then take the quotient. So that gives us this, and that gives us 9. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our anchor date for the century and add 9 to it to figure out the anchor date for the year. So we had Tuesday as the anchor date of the century, and if we add 
nine days, that will be a Thursday. So that tells us that the anchor date for 2041 is a Thursday. All of these days in 2041 are Thursdays. So then if someone asks us a date about 2041, we're able to quickly figure out what day of the week it is by finding one of these doomsdays that are close to the date and just adding a few numbers to get the specified date. So for example, what day of the week is 4 slash 14 slash 41? Well, the quick thing to do now is we know 4 slash 4 is a Thursday. And following the week pattern, that would make 4 slash 11 also a Thursday. So then finally, 4 slash 14 is three days past a Thursday, which is a Sunday. That's our final answer. So now finally, here's just one practice problem for you. See if you can figure this out using the doomsday algorithm. To start, let's figure out the anchor date for 2067. Let's figure out which day all the doomsdays fall on. So for 67, we start, we take the 67, we divide by 12. That gives us five with a remainder of seven. So we have our five here, and then we also keep the seven, so we keep the seven and the five. And then finally, we divide seven by four, which equals one with a remainder of three, but we just care about that one. So five, seven, and one equals 13. We take our anchor date for the century, Tuesday, and we add 13 days. Well, that's one less than two weeks. So we know that the anchor date for 2067 is a Monday. Now from there, utilizing our doomsdays, we know 12 slash 12 is a Monday. So now that's a Monday. And then to backtrack to 12 slash one, we can do 12 slash five is also a Monday. So we know 12 slash one is four days earlier than a Monday. So we can go back Sunday, Saturday, Friday, and end up on Thursday. So 12 slash one slash 2067 equals a Thursday. And if you get really good at this, you can start doing this in your head and maybe impress the one motherfucker that actually gives a shit about you. So if you've implemented all our techniques, your life should look a little something like this. Hi, what's your name? 27 divided by 35 is 0. 0.7714. Uh, okay. 87 times 87 is 7,569. You, you good, bro? May 1st, 2034 is a Monday. <laughs> Bloop.